makeup artist and educational specialist for Sephora University. Please, everyone, welcome Joey McGuire. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> So you're going to take away all our fears, but before you take away our fears, you're going to show us how we can learn how to make perfect eye makeup. Absolutely. And uh, what I really want to introduce to you is something we've created at Sephora. is called the Eye Studio. And it's a place where women can go to get that elusive one-on-one -on -one education about how to create an eye look that's maybe more specific to your eye shape or your eye color or just what you're comfortable wearing. Well, what defines a sexy eye look? Well... You know, they say eyes, uh, <laughs> beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Well, I think sexy is also in the eye of the beholder. And it really has to do with, with what makes you feel sexy and, and what about yourself that you really want to accentuate. I think sexy is really different for every person. And that's really what I, the eye studio is all about, is finding out what sexy means to you. Now, there are not many eye studios around the country. There's only three, right? There are only three. There's uh, here in San Francisco, at the Venetian in Las Vegas, and in Times Square in New York. And the reason we started it out here is because San Francisco Francisco, whether you know it or not, is the home of Sephora. I did know that. And so what better place to try out a new venture than to do it in our own very own backyard? Well, I was very lucky you took me to this eye studio, mm -hmm. and we're going to show the folks at home how it works. Great. Let's take a look. The natural eye is achieved in three easy steps. The first of which, Angel's going to start off by applying the Smashbox Photo Op Under Eye Brightener. This is really going to enhance and brighten the under eye as, and can be used also to highlight underneath the brow bone. Step two of the natural eye is to add a creamy natural shadow. The third step to the natural eye kit is to apply a brown eyeliner to the upper lash line. It's important to notice that Angel isn't trying to draw a perfect straight line. She's actually using short hatching motions and then we'll go back and blend to get a smooth airbrush finish look. And the perfect finish to any eye look is mascara. Supplement your favorite black or brown mascara to the natural eye kit to finish the look. Step one in the cat eye is starting with black liquid liner. A common mistake that most clients make is trying to draw one perfect thick black line across the lash line. In fact, it's easier to use the tip of the brush in short feathering strokes to build up the line to the appropriate thickness and get absolute perfection. Step two is to add white eye pencil to further define the eye area. You'll notice Josh is placing it under the tipped wing of the eyeliner and then blending outward. He'll also use it to highlight the inner corner of the eye. This really just lets the eyes pop. The third step to the cat eye is to define brows and add mascara. Define and fill the brows in with short, feathery strokes of pencil between the hairs. Then you can use the light end of the pencil to highlight the brow bones. A great addition to the cat eye kit is a strip of false eyelashes. Here, Joshua has actually used a set of eyelashes that come in bundles to add a subtle flare to the outer corner of the eye. And we'll finish the look with a coat of black mascara. Step one of the smoky eye is to start with black cream liner. Using a stiff brush, you apply the liner thickly to the upper lash lines, inside the lower lash line, and in the inner corners of the eye. You'll notice the placement of the liner is all the way across the eye. Don't worry too much about being overly precise. You'll be blending it out. Step two of the smoky eye is to apply a rich bronze eyeshadow. You're gonna use a small brush to apply shadow on top of the black cream liner, softly blending it into the natural creases. This will help you blend away any rough edges to the liner. You'll notice Kat even uses the bronze eyeshadow underneath the eye to further blend out and soften the liner. And step three of the smoky eye is to add a champagne shimmer. You apply lightly under the brow bones and at the inner corners of the eye to catch the light. A great addition to the smoky eye kit is a pair of false eyelashes. This gives you a really great chance to play up the drama. They're great for a special occasion. And the final step of the smoky eye is to apply a coat of black mascara. Wow, Jerry, that looks easy enough. Doesn't it? Yes, is it free? It is, absolutely. All the services at the iStudio are complimentary. 
And the kit costs? And the kit actually uh, give you a savings on the amount of products that are in them, so you get them at a little bit of a discount. Oh, that's, that's great. great. And so everything's in the kit? Yes, sure All right, is. now, this spring, colored eyeshadow is the big thing, and a lot of us are fearful of a lot of color on the eye. And today, you're going to take those fears away from Absolutely. us. Absolutely. So we're going to go through a few techniques with an eye that has a little bit more color to show you how to, to do that successfully. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I started actually by priming um, Jen's eye on this side with a pr eyeshadow primer. And there are a couple of benefits to that depending on who you are. Uh, a more mature client who say maybe has drier skin, it'll, they'll help them get more uh, pigment payoff on the eye. Whereas someone who's younger and maybe has a more oily eyelid helps keep that eyeshadow from creasing up. Right, so that's a good tip. Sure. And also another good tip is if you want to start with the eyes before you do the foundation. Absolutely. If you're going to do a more intense eye look, a lot of times you'll get that fallout underneath the mm -hmm. eye. And if you've already done your complexion and it's perfected, then you have to go back and sort of reinvent the wheel a little bit. Okay, so once we've done the primer, what's our next step? The next step, when working with bright color, I like to lay down a flesh tone base all over the eyelid. What that does is helps that brighter color become more like the skin and sort of melt in more. And you can notice on uh, Jen's right eye, I have already completed the look, so you can even see that little bit of flesh tone that helps that, that bright purple really just become part of her skin. Right. Now for um, those of us with blue eyes, green eyes, brown eyes, is there certain colors that go with, let's say, brown eyes? Absolutely. There are colors that are gonna enhance every kind of eye color. Uh, if you have brown eyes, Brown eyes generally come in two, two variety. More green brown, what we call hazel, mm -hmm. or more of a rich red brown. Uh, for hazel eyes, you'd wear something that you would wear for green eyes, those warmer shades like plums. For someone whose eyes are more that rich red brown, navies are beautiful. Right, they are. Okay, so now we're adding the color. And where do we put now the color? Now we're adding the color. With a really soft brush, and I think that's key, is to deposit color in really light layers and work up to your desired intensity. So you can see that that goes on really sheer without that huge punch of color that you would get, say, if you applied it with a sponge tip applicator. Right. Well, to wrap things up on this, sure. we've got the one eye that's finished, and it looks absolutely sure stunning. There we go, not too much, so you don't need to be fearful of that. Exactly. And on the violet eye, you can just start with the base, then mm -hmm. you get a skin tone shade of eyeshadow, Absolutely. and you finish with a bit of color. Great. And of course, we can't forget the mascara. Of course not, right. it's the most and essential. Yeah. And for more information about all of the things